Watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. Tonight, a young teenager is in critical condition. He made a nearly deadly mistake. His friends say he grabbed a live power line and had fallen during last night's storms. Yeah, tonight we're learning new information about Malik Shelton and those frantic moments. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich has the story from View of M Hospital in Ann Arbor, where Malik is being treated tonight. They airlifted the teen here to Ann Arbor, where he is breathing on his own, but his lungs are filling up with fluid just as fast as doctors can drain them. He's just holding on. These next 24 hours will probably be critical. Leonie Shanks worries about her 14-year-old stepson, Malik Shelton. He's fighting for his life after being shocked by a downed power line. He's fighting. He's a strong fighter, and I just hope he get well. This vacant lot near Burns Elementary Middle School is where Malik and three other students came across the dangerous live wire. They were walking back home because classes were canceled due to last night's storms. Malik grabbed the wire to move it out of their way. And that's when Malik, he ducked, and then he grabbed the wire, and he started shaking, and then he had fell, and there was blood coming out of his nose, and it went to his head. Ten-year-old Carlos Morgan had been with Malik. He and another friend rushed into action to help their friend with a stick and a two-by-four they found in the lot. Yeah, he was like, wow, 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 and then he let it go. Detroit police gave Carlos a patch for his bravery. Do you feel like a hero? Yes. But most of all, he just cares about his friend. I hope you're okay. Down power lines are very common after a storm, so Malik's family wants other kids and teens to be warned. Stay away from live wires. If you see anything hanging or falling, don't go near it, don't touch it, don't take no chances. We'll continue to keep you updated on Malik's condition as his family says these next several hours are the most critical. From Ann Arbor, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.